hi friends in this video we are going to install and set up salesforce cli command line interface we go with download of salesforce cli salesforce cli choose first link uh, choose your operating system my name is windows 64 yes download is complete run this file hit on next this is a path hit on next install so this is done we need to install a uh, salesforce uh, extension pack in vs code also Yes, installation is done. Uh, for confirmation, just go with command and type as sfdx iPhone version. Okay. Uh, type only sf dx it's enough i think yes it's showing the version is 7.83 so everything is fine and if anyone already installed salesforce cli and they need to upgrade the installed one they can use this step this command like sfdx space update yes salesforce cli is found one update to 7.83 to 7.84 so update is going on i think it's a, a quick and helpful command because we no need to uninstall and reinstall with the latest one okay it's done yes it's done now we need to install uh, extensions in visual code also let's open visual studio code come down to extensions type salesforce There's a bunch of extensions that are there, so we need to select this package. Yes, Salesforce extension package, it will include yet all of them is necessary, so we'll choose this one, so all will be installed. Uh, it's under installing I'm going to show you one common scenario common issue that with Salesforce CLA that uh, Visual Studio code is not recognized Salesforce CLA so if you receive any error like that you need to visit a uh, Salesforce CLA install location path it's under system OS under C drive and program files the salesforce salesforce cli open pin select this path 
and update this same in environment variable. Path edit new. See, actually it will it will take automatically, but in case if they miss, then we need to add manually. In my case, it's already taken. If in case you face any issue with uh, not recognizing uh, Salesforce CLI, then you need to add manually. You need to check first. If it's not added, we need to add. That's all. I think extensions are installed fully. Then yes, we can good to go. I would like to add one more thing that we can change the color theme also. For if you don't like dark theme we can change the theme of application coming to file preferences color theme white if you don't like you can switch to color theme light default or complete dark okay friends then please do subscribe and like this video thanks